everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another Munch Pack review. Today I'm going to be looking at what's in the August Munch Pack, so let's get started. We've got a little card inside here and this one was packed by Roxanne. I think. Today I'm wearing the world's ugliest jumper. Even when I bought this jumper I thought it was reasonably ugly, yet I still bought it. <laughs> I don't even know what this design is on it. It's kind of like an Aztec snowstorm madness thing happening. I guess I felt sorry for it on some level. Bet you haven't got a jumper uglier than this. And the fact that I not only keep owning it and don't get rid of it, but I choose to wear it in a video. So let's have a look in here. Ooh. First up, I've got these here. Lulu plantain chips, which I've tried before, so I'm not going to try these today. Oh. Masala Magic. These are lace chips and these are made, well they're made in India aren't they? See all those beautiful little flavours they put in there? I have tried these before but I'm trying them again because I want to. I don't have to explain myself really. They're a crinkle cut chip. Mmm. And now I'm craving Indian food. These are a nice spicy potato chip. Lots of flavour in them. Very salty. Yum. Bonnet Sweeties Chewy Candy and these ones are from Turkey. It's got two different flavours in there. Watermelon Tropical Fruits and Melon Pineapple. Pour these ones out on my hand. Oh, okay, so they're individually wrapped little candies. I'm going to try the pineapple one first. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? A thing of beauty. Oh, they're quite hard. This is doing wonders for my TMJ. Mmm. Yum though. Really yummy. These ones are a beautiful chewy fruity magic. I love the flavour and it's really beautiful and sweet. You have to put a little bit of work in at first to get to it, but it's worth it. Yum. Oh. I suddenly tasted rock melon. I don't ever remember having a rock melon flavoured candy before. That's what we call a rock melon here in Australia. Basically because it's a fruit that looks like a rock. We're so inventive. I can mainly taste the rock melon flavour over the pineapple flavour, but it's really yum. Let's try this second one, which is the watermelon... Uh, watermelon. <laughs> That's when a watermelon combines itself with a pelican. Watermelon tropical fruit. Look at the colours in this candy. Isn't it beautiful? Oh. Oh, mm, yum. It has a really nice balance of the watermelon and tropical flavour in it. I like both of these flavours equally, which is nice. Usually you prefer one flavour over the other, but this one, they're both yum. Granuts. This is basically mixed nuts. Who saw that coming? So this is from Colombia. Peanuts, almonds, cashews. It's basically nuts. I like nuts though. So is it just salted nuts? I can't open it, I'll never know. Oh, far it up. It's like Brazilians don't want you getting at their nuts. There you go. What can you see in there? Nuts. Oh, that looks like a nice little mixture. Mmm. I really like salted nuts. Very nice. Mmm. It's a nice little portion serving of nuts and you've got all your favourite nuts in there. Yeah, I really like this one. Can't go wrong with nuts, can you? Unless you're allergic. Bonbons and they're from France, but I've actually tried these before, so I won't be trying them today. This is Rip Rolls, and it's blue raspberry flavour. Where's this one from? It's from Thailand. Fat free, I don't believe that. 40 inches of fun. Alright, this is going to be so fun. Oh, I got a waft of blue raspberry just then. How, how do I get this started? Okay, so that's how you get it started, and bam! The, oh, wow. That's impressive. It looks like it might be sour though because it's got that weird sugar stuff on the outside. Oh, it's a little bit sour. Oh, it got me. Uh, I guess the good news is though that I've now learnt the Spanish word for raspberry because for some reason they've got Spanish on it. Frambuza azul. You've got a nice demented raspberry on the front there. It tastes super artificial. It is sour but as a kid I probably would have loved this because look at how fun that is to eat. Oh okay wow I've got a whole pack of green tea. Do I drink green tea? No. <laughs> Not often, I do sometimes. Akaba green tea. This is from Sri Lanka. I feel like I'm not the green tea expert, but I'm gonna try it anyway. 
I forgot to turn this little light on. It makes this jar look haunted, which I like. Who doesn't love a good haunting? I've got myself a cup of boiling water here. No, it's got a little pool thing that I can't work out for the life of me. Far out. If you do only watch one YouTube video with a middle-aged woman trying a green tea today, let it be this one. Oh, there's the pool thing. And now it wants to stay with me forever. Okay. Ta-da, middle envelope green tea. Oh, far out. <laughs> nah. No, are you serious? Just go away. Oh. Plonk this in here. If this thing would just leave me alone. There it is, green tea, everyone. How exciting. Wow, this is a special day, isn't it? Dears. Hmm. I don't know why I don't have green tea more often. It's actually quite nice and refreshing and it's good for you. I don't know what it does for you, but it does something. Let me know in the comments below if you're a green tree drink. <laughs> green tea drinker or if you drink trees I'd like to know that too hmm why don't I have green tea I don't know what else to say about this it's nice there you go <laughs> paint roller and it's from China it's rainbow roller with sour gel I got my tonsils removed once that's what it looked like I don't know why that's on there did they think that was cute it's not what do you think that is okay maybe some people shouldn't comment <laughs> Oh, there's a smell. It smells like a toy rather than a candy. Ready for it? Oh, this is quite the thing, isn't it? And then you get this, which looks like a neon blood. There's your little paint tray, there's your neon blood, and there's your roller. Let's unwrap this. Wow. I don't know if I like it. It doesn't sit quite right. It's not straight, which is really bothering me. Oh, isn't that horrific? There it is. Mm, smells like strawberries. Go on in. Uh, why would you do this ever? Uh, and then you just... Oh no. I don't like it. <laughs> I like the lollipop thing. This is like a nice fruity candy thing. A little bit too sweet probably. But then this, it's really thick and gluggy. It's a cute concept, isn't it? Are you enjoying this? Oh, I don't know if I am. I've painted many a wall before and this just doesn't feel right to me. Look at that. Do you like the look of this one? Is this adorable? Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I had more. It's not really that sour, it's just really ridiculously sweet. But the texture of this stuff is not really agreeing with me because it is quite gluggy. I think something should either be liquid or a gummy candy. This is like a gummy candy murder. Verdict on this one, it's a lot of fun to play with, but I don't want to eat it. Cat Cat Tat. It's from Yulka. Puff pastry with hazelnut cacao cream. It's from Turkey. It's like a beautiful little pastry. It's very light. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so sweet. Mm. It's like a flaky chocolate croissant, and it's got sugar topping on there. But you bite into it, and you feel like you're gonna fuff puff pastry everywhere. Like pff, pff. quite tasty though. It's got a nice chocolate filling in there. Oh goodness, a puff pastry on the floor. Have I got it in my hair? I feel like I have. Oh. oh, I have a Swiss roll. This one's from Jordan. I don't think I've ever had anything from Jordan before. It's a vanilla sponge cake. So this is what it looks like on the cover. In reality, it looks like... Oh no, this has not gone well. It's really squashed. And there's some staying in the bag. Fair enough. Here's the picture, here's mine. Gatto roulade forel a la creme de cacao. Oh. It's alright. Mmm. 
I like the flavor of it. It's beautiful and sweet. It's very artificial tasting, but I like it. The vanilla cake's really nice and tasty, and then you've got that chocolate cream inside, which is really quite delicious. I know it doesn't look beautiful because a lot's happened to it on its journey, but I like it. This one's from Russia, so I have no hope of reading this name, unfortunately. Oh, goodness me, they're quite big, long wafers. Look at that. So there's three in the pack here. But look at the size of this thing. Mmm. Yum. The chocolate cream inside is really yummy. It's beautiful and sweet. And those vanilla wafers are really nice and crispy. It's just what you want a wafer biscuit to be. I hope you enjoyed this Munch Pack review. In the description below, I will leave a link to the website. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up, share, and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.